The following is the best method for wrapping a basic drop handlebar with poly gel tape. This is the most basic setup, brake levers only, external cables. This procedure will translate well for brifters, but for barcons there's one extra little step that I'll get to shortly. You're going to want to restrain the front wheels so the bars don't flop around like an unconscious moose on the bus. Next, snap the brake lever hoods up and out of the way while you still have two hands free. Those little suckers will put up a fight sometimes. What's in the box? We have two rolls of adhesive back polyurethane foam tape, two short strips of same, two strips of that wretched electrician's tape they always send, and two bar end plugs so you don't apple core your kidneys when you slam. Peel off the entire paper strip. If the adhesive is unmanageably sticky, just do a foot or two at a time. Okay, you're gonna start your wrap by placing the end of the tape on the bottom side of the end of the bars. Leave about a third of the tape hanging over the end so that you can tuck it in with the plug later. BTW, if you're using bar end shifters or brake levers even, you don't do that because obviously you can't, you're not gonna use the plugs. Continue winding the tape snugly around the bars, overlapping each shingle by about a third. I try to make sure the adhesive is in contact with the bars themselves, not the tape. When you get to the bend, this rule won't work as you want to overlap a little more on the inside of the bend and a little less on the outside. Okay, the only reason we start at the ends and work towards the top is to avoid the upside down shingle effect that wears your tape out faster than a Magna and a UCI event. And the reason we start underneath the bars is so the coil will self-tighten as we unconsciously twist it backwards on long rides. One more thing about bar end levers, you're going to want to get that cable out of the handlebar wrap about just before the bend. So wrap up to the tape over the cable and then just go under the cable. There's no better way to do that. When you get to the brake lever, it's time to use that little strip of bar tape that came in the box. That covers up the wedgie. I usually go twice around the brake lever. That's not super important with small levers like this, but I do it anyway. Okay, as you wind out of the bends, you get another nice straight section to lay a few inches of even spiral again. Go ahead and wrap all the way up to the stem so that your finishing cut comes out straight. You want to leave enough room for accessories like a headlight, bell, phone, whatever. So I always use the razor I'm cutting with as a ruler. What? Oh, he's no. good! You gotta carefully incise the tape all the way around the bars, being really careful not to scratch them. The razor always makes a pretty jagged cut, so I like to square it up with scissors. Uh, I just make a nice straight cut that's as parallel to and as close to the razor cut as I can get it. Don't forget to get the point. If I'm wrapping the bars, it's going to come out to about 15 degrees. Results may vary. This is hockey stick grip tape. It is the absolute best finishing tape you can buy. The included vinyl tape you threw out would have just slid around and made a big gooey mess in a few months. And yes, the entire handlebar tape industry has been collectively pretending they don't know that since 1946. I tuck the end in and stuff the plug in after. You're going to want to give it the whole breakfast. If it wasn't tight, it wouldn't work. Time to clean up the wedgie tape so you don't get a bulge. Now flip down the hoods and you are back in business. Go treat yourself to an energy gel and some chamois butter.